Good afternoon, and welcome to this week's episode. I decided to walk on down here to the Red Cedar because I thought it'd be a good time to talk about why I like to think about risk as if it were water. See, there's a saying about rain. When it rains, it pours. And when it pours, it often floods. And I think this is a great way of thinking about the fact that risk is typically not as independent as we wish it were. This, this river here, this is a floodplain I'm standing on, in the summer can be totally dry, run just down to a trickle. In reasonable years in the spring, the water might be, say, 10 yards yonder. You could walk out there, stand on a little, uh, it's not a sandbar, but a mud bar, and enjoy the sound of the river. Maybe fish a little bit, launch your canoe. But today, with an ice dam and some snow on the ground that's just melted, and obviously more than a lick of rain, we have a different situation. There's probably a 50,000 fold increase in water coverage in this floodplain between today, as the fog rolls in, and the average width or, or uh, water coverage area of the river here. And this is not unique to water. In many situations, the drivers of risk are correlated. And when we look at our, our, let's say, risk register, and we see these independent risks because we've written them down on separate lines, we often model their probabilities separately. We think about them separately. Our mitigation plans, our tabletop planning, we don't properly consider the idea that many of these risks are correlated. When it rains, it pours. And when it pours, it floods. And sometimes when it floods at the wrong time of year, the ice is submerged under ice dams. And the flooding isn't just a little flood, it's a lot of flood. And so next time you're thinking about your risk management program or your risk register, I like to suggest that you stop for a moment and really consider not just the independent probabilities in your register, for example, but how those independent or seemingly independent uh, register items might be correlated. Next time you do a tabletop, think about combining two or three elements in the story together. Don't let yourself get away easy on these things because, again, in reality, as insurers and reinsurers will tell you, these risks are correlated, and when you most need to manage them, you will find that they occur together. So I'm not gonna go much further out here because uh, the water still runs pretty hard back here, but I hope you have a nice week, and I hope you're uh, warmer and drier than I am. See you next time.